Namaskar, hello and a very warm welcome viewers. You are watching the special presentation of Sunset TV on the All India Presiding Officers Conference. The centenary year celebrations of this conference will be held in Shimla this year. This conference provides a unique forum to the presiding officers to discuss procedural issues in the legislatures and also to share their experiences on these matters. This year, the discussions will focus on the responsibility of presiding officers towards constitution, the house and the people. In this edition, we will give you an insight into the evolution and working of the presiding officers conference. Come along. Parliament and state legislatures are the best fora to ventilate public grievances and ensure executive accountability. Problems and situations that arise on the floor of the house are varied and complex. The person who presides over the house has to deal with them with a blend of firmness and persuasiveness while conducting business in the legislature. The presiding officer is also required to ensure that the legislature reflects the minds of the people at large and help the government to respond to genuine grievances and difficulties voiced in the legislature. The presiding officers of our legislative bodies are entrusted with the responsibility of ensuring that the aspirations of the people, as voiced through their representatives, are fulfilled. It thus becomes necessary that problems confronted by the presiding officers in managing the proceedings of the legislatures are analysed periodically to develop sound and healthy traditions and conventions. As custodians of our legislative bodies, the presiding officers have a crucial role to play in strengthening parliamentary institutions and promoting a healthy parliamentary culture and democratic debate. Over the years, the annual conference of presiding officers of legislative bodies in India served as an integrating factor for our parliamentary institutions, not only with respect to practices and procedures, but also of our parliamentary system. The centenary year celebrations of All India Presiding Officers Conference will be organized in Shimla from 16 to 19th of November. 2021. Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla will inaugurate this conference. The Speaker of the Lok Sabha is the ex officio chairman of the conference of presiding officers of legislative bodies in India. The Secretary General of the Lok Sabha is the ex officio secretary of the conference and the Lok Sabha Secretariat functions as the conference secretariat. This will be the 82nd conference of All India Presiding Officers and the 58th Conference of Secretaries. Deputy Speaker of Rajya Sabha, Presiding Officers of Legislative Assemblies, Legislative Councils and Principal Secretaries will be present at the function. The first day of the conference starts with a welcome speech by the host. The inaugural address includes a brief survey of the developments and achievements since the previous conference, new schemes and policies introduced and implemented at the centre in connection with the legislature, Changes introduced in the rules of procedure and conduct of business and the rulings given by the chair in the spheres of legislation, committees, privileges in the Lok Sabha during the previous year and matters of common interest confronting legislature in the country. The institution of the Conference of Presiding Officers of Legislative Bodies in India is as old as the Central Legislative Assembly. The first conference was held in Shimla in September 1921 the same year in which the first bicameral legislature constituted under the Government of India Act 1919 came into being at the centre. 
for helping the presiding officers develop and preserve the healthy traditions and conventions in our parliamentary institutions, the Forum of the Conference of Presiding Officers of Legislative Bodies in India was launched in 1921. Since then, this forum has ceased lessly functioned as a key component in strengthening the democratic way of life and promoting unity and oneness in India. From its inception in 1921 till 1950, the venue of the conference was either Delhi or Shimla. In 1950, Speaker Mavalankar suggested that the purpose of the conference would be better served if it could be held at different places in various states. He felt that in this way the presiding officers will not only benefit by personal touch with different parts of the country, but also foster a sense of national unity. His suggestion was readily accepted by the presiding officers of state legislatures. Accordingly, from 1951 onwards, the conference began to be held at different places. The first conference was held in Trivandrum in July-August 1951. In its earlier days, the conference of presiding officers of legislative bodies in India was not convened at regular intervals. It was only after the initiative of Speaker G. V. Mavalankar in 1946 that the practice of convening the conference annually for two to three days started. Notwithstanding the annual feature of the conference, an emergent conference of the presiding officers may also be called depending on any exigency. So far, four such conferences have been held. On 10th of April 1949 at New Delhi to consider the matter of having a statutory provision for securing an independent and separate legislature secretariat free from the control of executive government as the Constituent Assembly was about to begin work on constitution making. On 6th and 7th of April 1968 at New Delhi to take note of certain unusual developments in Punjab and West Bengal regarding the powers of the Governor, the Presiding Officer and the Chief Minister. On 25th April 1984 at New Delhi to consider issues arising out of a privilege case pending in the Supreme Court involving the Legislature, the Press and the Judiciary. On 11th of February 1992 at New Delhi to discuss the matters pertaining to anti-defection law in the light of the Supreme Court's verdict that the Judiciary can review the decisions given by the presiding officers under the 10th schedule to the Constitution. Over the last decades, the annual conference of presiding officers discussed matters of vital parliamentary democracy, its institutions and its rules of procedure. Chairmen of the presiding officers include illustrious names like Vital Bhai Patel, Ibrahim Rehmatullah, Shanmukham Shetty, Abdul Rahim, G.V. Mavalankar, M. Ayangar, Sardar Hukum Singh, N. Sanjeeva Reddy, G. S. Dhillon, B. R. Bhagat, K. S. Hegre, Balram Jaghar, Rabi Ray, Shivraj Patil, P. A. Sankma, G. M. C. Balyogi, Manohar Joshi, Somnath Chatterjee, Meera Kumar, Sumitra Mahajan, and Om Birla. The recommendations made and the resolutions passed in these conferences have gone a long way in deepening and broadening the contents and contours of the parliamentary system. The aims, the objectives and the scope of the conference also kept widening with the democratization of the legislature and evolution of responsible government in the country. This is discernible from the memorandum submitted and the addresses delivered by the chairman of these conferences from time to time.
During the 79th All India Presiding Officers Conference held in December 2019 in Dehradun, under the chairmanship of Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla, many important resolutions were taken up. After some deliberations, the conference decided that strong measures, including incorporation of specific rules in the rules of procedure for conduct of business, need to be worked out to curb unhealthy practices that were not only affecting the functioning of the legislature but also bringing them into disrepute. Three years ago, our society, Pride, will go to the Vidhan Sabha in the Vidhan Sabha. The Vidhan Sabha will come to the Lok Sabha. And in which way, we will also be able to see the Vidhan Sabha and the Vidhan Sabha. We will also be able to see the Vidhan Sabha in which way, we will be able to see the Vidhan Sabha. इसके बारे में लगातार प्रशिक्षण कार्यक्रम चलता रहेगा फिर विधानसभा अपनी अपने क्षेत्र के अंदर धीरे धीरे इस डेवलप हो जाएगी मुझे लगता है कि तीन साल बाद The 80th All India Presiding Officers Conference was held in Kevadia, Gujarat on 25th and 26th November 2020. The conference deliberated on the subject harmonious coordination between legislature, executive and judiciary key to a vibrant democracy. It was inaugurated by President Ramnath Kovin and Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the valedictory session of the conference through a video conference. Sansadiyya Lok Tantra mein Satta Paksh ke saas saas Dhiti Paksh ki bhi maat poon khun ka hoon. Is liye dono mein saamanja se sahyog evam saarthak vichar vimars awashak hai. Pitha Sina Dikariyo ka yeh daayit to hai ki wei sadan mein jan pratinidiyo ko swast bahes ke liye उपयुक्त वातावरण उपलब्ध कराए और शिष्ट संवाद तथा चर्चा को प्रोत्साहित करें डिसेंसी डिग्निटी डेकरम थ्री डीज ऑफ द टेम्पल्स ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी विल बी अपहेल्ड ओनली बाय थ्रू अडहरेंस टू थ्री डीज दैट इज डिबेट डिस्कस एंड डिसाइड नॉट गोइंग और रिजॉर्टिंग टू द फोर्थ डी दैट इज डिसरप्शन अनबेटेड डिसरप्शन seriously erode the standing of the legislature. Lack of harmony in the functioning will seriously erode the legitimacy of all the three organs of the state. As a presiding officer, you have a key role in our democracy. Aap sabhi pithasin adhikari kanun nirmata ke roop mein संविधान और देश के सामान्य मानवी को जोड़ने वाली एक बहुत अहम कड़ी है विधायक होने के साथ साथ आप सदन के स्पीकर भी हैं ऐसे में हमारे संविधान की तीनों महत्वपूर्ण अंग विधायिका कार्यपालिका और न्यायपालिका के बीच बेहतर सामंजस्य स्थापित करने में आप बहुत बड़ी भूमिका अदा कर सकते हैं संवैधानिक मूल्यों के प्रति धड़ रहकर अपने कर्तव्यों का समय निर्वहन करने हुए समाज के आखिर व्यक्ति के उत्थान और कल्याण के लिए सदैव प्रयत्नशील रहना चाहिए संविधान के जनक डॉक्टर बाबा साहब भीमराव अंबेडकर के राजनीति के साथ साथ आर्थिक लोकतंत्र के सपनों को पूरा करने के लिए ये विधायिका और अधिक सक्रियता से काम कर रही है The Lok Sabha speaker presided over the 81st All India Presiding Officers Conference held in a virtual mode on 15 September 2021. The conference commemorated the centennial celebrations of the AIPOC and also observed the International Day of Democracy. The theme of the conference was role of legislature in fostering effective and meaningful democracy. Vidhan Mandal Lok Tant ke aise mandir hai jin ke madhyam se hum jan kalyan ke karya karne ka priyas karte hai. Sarvach जनप्रति संस्थाएं होने के कारण हमसे ये अपेक्षा की जाती है कि देश में अन्य संस्थाओं और संगठनों के लिए 
हम आदर्श संस्थाओं के रूप में कार्य करें तथा कार्य अनुशासन और शालीनता के उच्चतम मापदंडों को बनाए रखें किसी विधानमंडल की विशेषता उसके सदस्यों की भूमिका और आचरण से जुड़ी होती है जनप्रतिनिधि होते के नाते उससे यह अपेक्षा की जाती है कि वे विधानमंडल के अंदर और बाहर शालीनता के उच्चतम मापदंडों का पालन करें प्रिसाइडिंग ऑफिसर्स ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया मॉलदीव मंगोलिया नामीबिया श्रीलंका जिम्बावे एंड डेप्यूटी स्पीकर ऑफ नेशनल असेंबली ऑफ मोरिशस एड्रेस द कॉन्फ्रेंस द्वार पिशेको प्रेसिडेंट इंटर पार्लियामेंट्री यूनियन एड्रेस द कॉन्फ्रेंस थ्रू अ प्री रिकॉर्डेड मैसेज डेप्यूटी स्पीकर ऑफ भूटान मेंबर्स ऑफ पार्लियामेंट फ्रॉम कीनिया एंड रजन फेडरेशन व ऑल्सो इन अटेंडेंस many vital questions pertaining to the rules of procedure and conduct of business have been engaging the attention of the conference all these years the conference can be credited not only with the evolution of the rules of procedure and conduct of business in its present form and the solutions to many complex problems in existing practices and procedures but also for bringing about a fair degree of uniformity and clarity of rules In the last several decades the annual conferences of presiding officers have discussed matters of crucial importance to parliamentary democracy covering a wide spectrum of subjects the scope of conferences held so far range from an independent legislature secretariat discipline in the house harmonious relationship between the legislature and the judiciary strengthening of parliamentary surveillance over the executive the departmentally related standing committee system the search for corrective measures to make anti defection law more effective the recommendations made and the resolutions passed during these conferences have gone a long way in deepening and broadening the contents and contours of the parliamentary system the conference that started with a limited object of appropriate coordination of parliamentary procedures throughout india has gone a long way in establishing sound and healthy democratic traditions and conventions well that's all we had for you in this edition thanks for watching and stay tuned to sunset tv namaskar